With a combination of these four AI tools, you can start making insane AI videos of yourself, of someone else, or any type of object that you can imagine. You can literally walk on the moon or make yourself fly or turn yourself into any character that you can imagine. Literally, I could be Batman. And you can have seamless transitions like this. where you can get really creative. The best part is you don't really need four different types of subscriptions to make this. You can get Sea Dream, Kling, Runway Act 2 and Nano Banana all through OpenArt. So that's the tool that we will be using and if you want to follow along I will leave a link down below. Now to apply all of these effects that I've just shown you, you need to start with the end result first. So you first need to start with your recorded video. So I have my video right here which is a different video that I made. And I've turned that into this. How to use Nano Banana for next level AI creativity. Yo, wait a second. What the hell is happening to me? So you get the idea, right? This is before polishing, before adding sound effects. This is just cutting it up and doing all the AI bits. Now, to get started with that, you first import your clip into your favorite video editing timeline. For me, I'm using Premiere, but you could use CapCut. It doesn't really matter as long as you can cut up your video into pieces. Then you need to decide what you want to have happen and when you want to have this happen. Now, for me, my first process was animating myself by being chased by a giant hand. And for that, we always start off with an image. So what you want to do is you first want to ideate. And I ideated that this hand was following me. And I tried this using both Nano Banana and Sea Dream. Now with Nano Banana, I didn't quite get the results that I was looking for. So I tried it with Sea Dream. My input was literally an image of myself. It was an image of the sky. And then we had a full body image of me as well. I prompted it a giant hand reaching down from the sky, dark clouds in the background. Man is running on the streets away from the hand facing the camera. Running towards the camera, the man wears blue jeans and a brown colored long sleeve. As that was exactly what I was wearing so this is the image that I got so now using this image we can start animating this and for this we go to image to video and this will bring us over to a bunch of different models that we can choose from I actually tried out between 1 2.5 and clean 2.5 so with clean 2.5 I tried this out a couple of times this is the best result that I got but it wasn't quite what I wanted now then I tried experimenting and I actually switched over to clean 2.1 because we have start frame and end frame now i tried this a couple of times until i got this video right here and honestly this video wasn't good enough but what it did gave me is it gave me this screenshot that i could use for start to end frame and start to end frame is actually the way you want to go because this will give you a lot more control when it comes to making your video so as you can see here i have the hand here i have that end frame and then all i had to do is i had to ask it a young man sprinting at full speed talking to the camera the hand reaches down and grabs him. Now I'm gonna be honest with you this took me a couple tries to get right and that's actually the current state AI is in. It is a bit of prompting, a bit of skills but also having a bit of luck. So you might want to spend a few credits on this. Luckily, Kling isn't that expensive. So now that I had the video right, I switch over to audio. Here I upload my file and then I upload my audio file. So here you have my audio file. These are 10 different ways of how to use Nano Banana for... I had to re-record this so it actually sounds like I'm being chased. So record yourself if you need to, otherwise export the original audio on your clip and use that in here at audio to video. Once you hit create, it will automatically start lip syncing your video to your character. After that, you want to make a cut at the part in the video where you want to transition into the next scene. So for me, it was right here. What I did is I literally took a screen grab like this and then I used that frame as my starting frame and then I used a different frame as my end frame so what i did is as you can see here if i scroll over to this then you can see that i transitioned into myself now if we look at my recording then you can see like this and then yo and here i took another screenshot and then i put them into cling 2.1 start frame to end frame so I just remove this, I remove that, and then I put those two frames like this in there. And then for the end frame, did the same thing. And then all I did is I gave it this prompt. The fist slams through the ground and opens up a portal into the scene. I tried this a few different times and I got this result, for example. That one didn't quite work. I got that result. Quite good, but it doesn't quite look like me. And this was the final result I went with. 
So now in my timeline, I just let this segment just play for a little bit while I'll talk about it. And then I had this idea about like whenever I say like what the hell is happening to me, it switches to like breaking news. So what I did is I took this end frame over clip and then I put that into C Dream again because C Dream is the highest export setting. With Nano Banana, you might have a few constrictions. With C Dream, I didn't have any issues with that. So I basically gave the prompt, turn this man into a news reporter, change the background, but keep the same facial characteristics, change his outfit into a suit, and on the screen it says breaking news. Now you can see I tried this here a few different times until I got this result. So now I took this video and then again I used start frame and end frame in Kling. So we switch back over to video, go over to Kling 2.1 and now I used the start frame as this frame right here and then the end frame as me in a suit. I used this prompt, the background changes and the man touches his earpiece and he looks around confused. So that gave me literally this first result which I quite liked. But I actually wanted to try this out a few different times to see what other results I could get. Like for example this one, where two people actually remove the green screen. Like it's not a green screen, but they remove the background behind me and then I appear into my suit. But it didn't work quite nicely with the way how I act in here. So I tried this a few different times, but this result wasn't as nice as the first one. So I went with the first one. Now after this transition right here, I wanted to stay as a news reporter. And I already had recorded the breaking news segment in this raw recording. So what I did is I exported the raw audio of this and I put this inside lip sync to video. It's great that we have like all of these tools available inside of OpenArt because all I had to do here is I select my image, which is this image right here. So I uploaded my image and then I also uploaded the voice recording that I already had done. And now all I have to do is choose between one of these models. Now, because I didn't know which one is best, I tried all three of them and these were the results. We have Hydra, we have OmniHuman and we have OpenArt, the traditional one. So this is the result with Hydra. Breaking news, Dan Keefe just discovered how to make fire videos using AI. And by fire, I mean literally fire. Looks quite good. Then we have this one. Breaking news, Dan Keefe just discovered how to make fire videos using AI. And by fire, so this one didn't quite work. And then we have OmniHuman. Breaking news, Dan Keefe just discovered how to make fire videos using AI. And by fire, I mean literally fire. So OmniHuman was by far the best one in my opinion with Hydra close second and OpenArt third. So I used OmniHuman for this and then I've completed another segment. So for this next bit, when I say and by fire, I mean literally fire. I wanted to put myself literally on fire with like the explosion behind me. And there are two steps that need to be done in order to do this. First, you need to make an image of yourself. And here, as you can see, I ran into some issues because I was using Nano banana for this and it gave me all kind of like violations and like guidelines that I had to compete with. Now, Sea Dream didn't have that issue. So here I was still like figuring out what I exactly wanted. I wanted to have like a fire character. This was my first initial idea. Didn't turn out as great. And then all of a sudden I came to something like this, but still this wasn't great with Nano Banana. Then I tried it a few more times using Sea Dream and I came to this result. Now I downloaded this image. So now that I got that image, I can go back to image to video. Here we're using Kling 2.1 start and end frame again. Start frame I'm using the image where I'm not yet on fire and then the second one will be where I will be on fire. Then I say an explosion erupts and the studio is set on fire and in the end a big explosion blows everything away. That was my idea. Then I added in some like auto speech and then he says and by fire I mean literally fire. The reason why I did that is because I wanted the person to talk. Now I will show you what I made with this. It's literally a bit of a joke because I had to try it a couple of times. So here's the result. And by fire Fire, I mean literally fire. So yeah, that didn't work. Then this one. He says, and by fire, I mean literally fire. There is ELSIS. And this is perfect. The audio doesn't make sense, but we're gonna replace this. So I can download this video. And now again, we can go over to audio and here we drop in our video. So I will drop in that video that we just made. And here we will drop in the audio that we wanna put under there. So here we put the right audio, the audio that I actually recorded. Now, and then you hit create and then you will get this video where I still talk while the explosion is happening. I mean, literally fire.
Now a few other cool things what you can do with this entire method is using Runway Act 2. And what I did here, for example, is turning myself into a banana hat and into Captain America. Now this is also super simple to do. It's exactly the same method as I just shown you, but we are using Runway Act 2 for this. Now the way this works is you wanna get an image of yourself where you've edited yourself with Nano Banana or Sea Dream. So literally all you have to do is you go over and you switch to Nano Banana or Sea Dream you put in yourself as an image reference and then you say like hey transform me into a person with a banana on his hat then you input the video that you want to have as a reference so i inputted like my original video and then you get something like this with nano banana and a few other ai tools you can change your entire appearance you can turn into any character that you want. And you can also do this with any kind of movie character. For example, here I used Homelander. With Nano Banana and a few other AI tools, you can change your entire appearance. As you can see for the reference video, this is my reference. And then for the character image, I transform myself into Homelander and that will give you that result. So combining all of these tools together will give you the creative freedom to literally make any type of transition, any type of character, any type of thing that you can imagine and turn it into a cool video. All of this is done inside of one tool, which is called OpenArt. If you want to try this out, I will leave the link in the description down below. And if you want to learn 10 cool things of how you can use Nano Banana, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I will teach you exactly everything you need to know.